Welcome to Essential Hayek. I'm Don Boudreau, professor of economics at George Mason University, senior fellow at the Fraser Institute, and blogger at Cafe Hayek. This video is part of the Fraser Institute's initiative to present the key ideas of F.A. Hayek in an easily accessible format. In this video, we explore Hayek's work on economic booms and busts, work for which he was awarded a Nobel Prize in economics in 1974. One of Hayek's key observations was that when governments interfere in the economy, it results in people acting in ways that are not sustainable, which ultimately leads to booms and then, inevitably, busts. Let's simplify this idea with an example. This is Brian. Brian is a politician who thinks he has a great idea for creating jobs and widespread prosperity. With the best of intentions, Brian convinces his government to support companies so that they can develop and build factories to sell chocolate-covered pickles. But Brian's plan is flawed. He assumes there will be great demand for chocolate-covered pickles. But if there truly were great demand for chocolate-covered pickles, the pickle industry would naturally respond and build factories to cover pickles with chocolate, all without the government's assistance. So what happens when there is no real demand by customers for chocolate-covered pickles? The resources provided by the government, whether in the form of direct support like subsidies or indirect support like loan guarantees, distorts the economy by encouraging people to make bad decisions. In this case, to use resources to make chocolate-covered pickles. As the lack of demand for these pickles becomes apparent, businesses must adjust by retooling or even scuttling factories, adjusting their production lines, changing their distribution networks, etc. All of these things mean idle resources in the short term as businesses adjust to the reality of the market. The challenge is to ensure that producers have the knowledge and the incentives to produce goods and services that people want. Government interference, such as through subsidies or especially importantly, by manipulating the money supply, obscures that knowledge by distorting prices. This interference, by initially causing producers to tool up to produce things that consumers don't really want, inevitably results in producers having to tool down and readjust in order to better meet true consumer demands. The core insight from Hayek on economic booms and busts is that government interference, even when done with the best of intentions, changes people's behavior by changing incentives and changing signals in the market. These changes result in investments that are not sustainable and which ultimately lead to recessions or busts. To learn more and to download Essential Hayek for free, visit www.essentialhayek.org.